What's up, uh, YouTube viewers and our America's Army 3 players? So, recently, let's see, a couple days ago, America's Army 3 came out, and I just wanted to make a video to show some of my likes and dislikes. Later on, I'll probably be showing you some gameplay and see if I can show you some of my likes and dislikes in the game. First off, I want to uh, thank the AA3 devs for bringing out the beta program. I really think it was awesome. I've been waiting on this to come out for um, however long they've been working on it. Probably over a year. I think like it's really great that they let us play it um, before you know, it officially came out. Um, one of the first things I wanted to talk about is like all the bugs in it. Like I understand it I understand it's beta, so I'm not really gonna be too mad over it. But I just want to tell everybody all the bugs. Like the biggest one is just like the game seems to have this like untyped, ungodly type of lag where just like you're just moving like you know you might have like probably anywhere from forty to eighty frames a second and right now they're on the millisecond um, system right now. But it, it just seems like no matter what, even though your ping might be like a uh, like anywhere from like 5 to 30, it seems like you just have lag or something. Um, I'm sure they can fix that, but that's probably the biggest flaw. The second one I want to address is the um, grenade throwing flaw. Any type, any type of weapon, smoke grenade, flashbang grenade, incendiary, or frag grenade that you try to throw, it's, it, for some reason there's some bug where when you try to throw it, it hits an invisible wall and bounces right back at you. Like I've died so many times doing that, it's hilarious. Um, also, another bug that uh, annoys me is the one on the bridge, the new bridge map where you're going up the ladder. For some reason, it makes you get stuck as soon as you get off the map and you can't turn your view from the, to the left or the right. You can still move forward backwards and you can strafe left and right, but you can't actually move your screen. And that really sucks. But to all you AA3 haters, um, you know, screw yourselves because I'm pretty sure they're going to patch all the stuff. The game's going to probably give Call of Duty a real force one. Alright, let's get started. One of the first things you'll notice is the new load in screen. It looks pretty cool, um, more modernized. And you can automatically load your character in. You got different things like your overview, your achievement, and your statistics you can look at. Um, that's always pretty cool. And right now, for some reason, it's frozen. But we're going to continue anyway. Alright, back to those achievements. You have different badges, different achievements you can get. Like the walk it off or walk it against odds or... Uh, no INT. They all give you uh, different types of points and basically what you use these points for is to um, use them to turn them into uh, like training and different things like that. So you can do that. And then it shows all your different statistics uh, where you like to hit people. So for all you snipers out there, um, people, I think later on people will be able to look at your profile and show that you can snipe. Um, the server bar does actually load in the game, so that's pretty cool. So you don't have to like, close your game or get out anything. You can actually do it real time. Um, there's different maps you can always explore, of course. So we're gonna have them go lower bridge. And you guys gotta bear with me. I'm using the unregistered Fraps version, so I can only do 30 second clips. But basically, from different loadouts here, the graphics are pretty damn good. Um, I'd say even right now they uh. Rival COD 4 using the Unreal 3.0 engine. Um, the M4 is actually a great weapon in this game. I actually use it a lot. I have the it's one of my highest kill rates. The uh, saw um, I don't really like that much. It's a supportive weapon. It actually does work well, very well on bridge. Actually, it makes people duck their heads down and everything. Um, one of the new things I do like about bridge is that there is no more fog so pretty much no one is safe when somebody has a sniper you can't just hide from across the map and then you know expect not to be shot you actually have to uh, get behind some real cover um, this 
part of that ladder right there bugs the hell out of me. Every time I go up and in a multiplayer match, I always get bugged. And there's this bug where you can't either move to the left or the right. Um, in the local mode, it doesn't seem to be really bugged. Well, there's one bug right there, but um, on the internet play, when I try to throw a grenade, it seems to hit an invisible wall and it comes back at you, and then you usually end up killing yourself or one of your teammates or both. The uh, new menu right that you see right there, it's pretty cool. It looks like it's heavily borrowed from um, Battlefield 2, um, which I don't mind. It's actually pretty kick-ass. Um, you don't have to tab and do a lot of those other ridiculous buttons. You can do it right on the screen. You can actually uh, squad with your market and rally points, which all show up on the person's... Um, I'm not sure if it's a such a weapon indicator anymore or what it is. I think it's the GAT or whatever, but it all shows up on there. And everything's in real time, so that's what I really appreciate about this. This new lean that you roll, I think, I don't know what the hell that is. It looks really weird if you ask me. I've never seen anybody uh, lean like that in real life or in the other game. Alright, I'm going to go into some online play. Um, the different roll selects, you get different loadouts. You can go from light standard to heavy. They all depend on the light load. Obviously, you'll sprint faster, which is really effective if you're trying to rush on bridge on assault. Or you can go a heavy load, which is more of a defensive load, and just never run out of ammo, pretty much. All right, what you're seeing is a couple people in different spectate modes. Um, it is a little buggy. If you, I'm trying to switch to the uh, what is it? The, uh, the first person spectate mode and the previous person spectate mode. Right there, they show all the different stats you can score in each round, so it's always cool to see that. Um, of course, you get to select different positions. They all correlate to different guns. Um, what's really cool in here is the battle planner for the commander can actually update in real time on your map to show where um, he wants you to go, where he wants you to defend. And if he should change his mind during the battle, because everything's in real time, he can actually move those different waypoints to different areas and uh, tell you to check your uh, objectives, check your which I think is uh, just amazing. Um, the new sprint feature is always really cool. It actually um, is a lot more realistic, because of course you can't just sprint across the map in real life. Um, there's actually a bar that'll actually go down. And there's a run and dive feature, which I also think is really cool. The new lean feature um, is a lot better because it clips you to walls, I think, where you actually hide behind so you don't actually have to move around too much and uh, try to make it really sensitive to uh, try to lean around that wall. Um, that's really cool. Alright, uh, the aiming in this game, I think, is a lot harder than America's Army 2. Um, you actually, if you hold the breathe button down, which I think is awesome, you'll actually steady your target, which you can only do it for so long. Good, I didn't get bugged on that. And I was coming around the corner and I killed that guy and I also got shot in the leg. This is one of the things I hate. Um, going up these damn ladders, all of a sudden I just fall down the ladder for no reason. I don't know why. I didn't even get shot. Um, I hope they fix that. And there's a guy coming around the corner and I clearly shot him. And he's like bleeding to death and he didn't die. But. Overall, it's a good game. I hope they fix these bugs in the game, and I really think it would be great.